This video shows how to create a box plot and a dot plot in Quantum Excel. To start, I need to make sure that Quantum Excel is running. I can tell that Quantum Excel is running if you see QXL Monte Carlo, QXL Stat Tools, and QXL DOE in the ribbon. If you don't see them, it means that Quantum Excel is not running, and you need to start Quantum Excel just like any other application. And there's a video on our website that shows how to start Quantum Excel if needed. My data is for four different suppliers, and so I'm going to select my data by selecting cells A1 through A11. I then click on Excel Stat Tools, then I click on Analysis Tools, and then I click on Box Plot. When I click on Box Plot, Quantum Excel is going to ask me the data range. Because I pre-selected the data, I don't have to do anything now, but if I'd forgotten, then I could click on cells A1 through D11 again. When I click on Next, Quantum Excel will give me the Data Orientation option. This data set is in columns. So there's an example, Quantum Excel gives you an example where the data is in columns. If my data was in rows, then I would click on the data in rows option. And if I had one big group of data that, was, that spanned multiple columns and rows, then I could select one group of data. In this case, my data is in columns, so I will click on Next. At this point, Quantum Excel gives me the options for the box plot. If I wanted to, I could change the chart title, the X and Y axis titles, as well as change some of the report options, such as display the data set minimum, max, mean, etc. In this case, I'll leave all the defaults, and I will click on Finish. When I click on Finish, Quantum Excel will create the box plot for me. If my data was in rows, then I could have analyzed the data in almost exactly the same way. To demonstrate that, I'm going to copy and paste the data, and I'm going to put it into rows. So this is the exact same data set, but now the data set is in rows. I'm going to follow the exact same procedure, except for now I will tell Quantum Excel the data is in rows. So I will select the data, click on Analysis Tools, and then Box Plot. When I click on box plot, the data range is correct, so I will click on next. I have the same UI that allows me to choose between data in columns, data in rows, or one group of data. Notice that Quantum Excel guessed correctly that the data is in rows. I will click on finish, and I will get the exact same box plot I did before. Doing the dot plot is identical to the box plot, we just choose the dot plot menu item, and the data can be rows or columns for the dot plot as well. If I select my data, I click on analysis tools, and then dot plot. The data range is correct. I'm going to skip the options and go straight to finish. And we see that Quantum Excel makes the dot plot for me in Excel. And that is how you create a box plot and a dot plot in Quantum Excel.